Why hello, it's your girl Dimply Beam back at it again with a little a little vlog for you. Yes, that's right. I'm going back to vlogs where I'm talking in them because I feel like they're more entertaining than the non-talking ones. I don't know, you tell me. Which one would you prefer? Please excuse my rather bedraggled appearance right now. As you know, this is the morning and the morning time is for not wearing makeup and dolling yourself up. Come on. And I feel like today is gonna be pretty much a full day of non-makeup wearing and that is because I don't know I just want to chill I just want to relax and not think about how I look pamper myself feel good eat things and drink things that make me feel good just have a nice self-care kind of day and I thought what better yet than to start it off with a little bit of skincare so first things first I wanted to just pin back my new fringe that I've got going on Okay, that was a dog outside, just going absolutely mental. Anywho, I'm gonna pin back my fringe so then you can see more of my exquisite forehead. This is, this is a look. I could never pull off the whole cute little, two little pins at either side because this is what it looks like. I just don't have the head for it. Alright, so I'm gonna start off by just soaking my face. I've got a nice bowl of warm water here and a reusable cotton pad thing. I'm trying to reduce the amount of throwaway type things that I have. So in particular things like cotton pads, when I'm applying stuff on a daily basis and that requires a cotton pad, I found that I was throwing away a lot lot of them, which obviously isn't very good in terms of costs, but in particular my concern was, what well, the environment. Obviously there is certain things that are one use only, but to be truthful, I think if we can try and reduce that as much as possible by using pads like this, where I will use and then I'll just stick it in with my washing and it cleans them up and it's, and it's fine. I'm mostly doing around my mouth and my cheeks because I find that that's where I have the most problems and I can't even use the excuse of masks because I know that a lot of people are having extra breakouts because of masks. Mine isn't so much of that, I've just always had this issue around this area and I know why. It's because when I sit at a desk or when I'm concentrating I'll sit and I'll have my hand like, like this or just like that. And another bad habit that I do when I'm stressed out is that I'll run my fingers over my face and when I spot something that just doesn't feel like smooth skin, I pick at it. It's essentially the same thing as people who bite their nails. It's like a nervous response but I mutilate my face. So I am done with soaking my face. I feel like my pores are a little bit more open now than they were before which is good. So I wasn't sure whether to actually share this process with you because it is a little bit gross and not everybody wants to see that. So I might just do it, give you a little snippet of what I'm doing and just do it really quick and then you guys can, I don't know, skip ahead on this part if, if you so wish. There's like fluff in the air. Skip ahead about 20 seconds if you don't want to see. Okay. So now that my face is royally red, <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe off any possible residue off of my face using some micellar, is it micellar water? Basically it's cleansing water, micellar water, whatever the hell you call it. Now to also further cool down my face, I've got my jade roller here, which I'm just gonna run, oh, that feels so nice, up and down my face. Basically do it until it's no longer cold. And then using the other side, the eye one, just gently underneath my eye. So the next thing I wanna use is some toner. I've got the Quarks, <laughs> Quarks? Quarks toner. It's like a clarifying toner, which I feel like is better for my skin. I'm just gonna move my head back and just spray it. So I'm just gonna leave that to sit in. So the next thing I'm gonna use is my essence. And I'm also using Quarks, Crude Quarks, Quarks, Quarks. This is another tone balancing product that they do. 
Okay, so done all that. Now I'm gonna move on to a little bit of eye cream. I'm using, I can't really remember the brand. I'm not sure if it is Elizaveka. Elizaveka. Either way, I remember ordering this a while back and was immediately shocked upon arrival because of the size of the tub. This is eye cream, right? And look at the size of the tub. I've never ever had eye cream where you're given this amount in one go. You always get them in these tiny little poxy tubs or little bottles and they never give it you in a full size tub and that, that impressed me quite a lot. To the point where I had to double check it and make sure that I definitely had ordered eye cream <laughs> because it is that unusual to get it in a full-size tub. I don't know why you don't get it in a full-size tub. We seem to just associate eye cream being in tiny tubs, but really, it doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't actually mean anything why it's in a smaller tub. Yeah, you don't use as much in one go, so maybe in terms of like keeping it preserved and the product not going off. I'm suspicious of it. I just think that they don't give it you in full-size tubs because they want you to pay more, because ultimately you pay more for eye cream anyway. Now, next, I'm moving on with my ordinary daily moisturizer, which is focusing for some reason. Hello. Natural moisturizing factors. Basically, it's just a daily moisturizer with some kind of formula in it because the ordinary, every product has some kind of clinical formula, or whatever. It's a sciencey brand. It's very sciencey, okay? Science. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of lip balm. Now, last step before I go off and do my day that I've got planned, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. This product is really nice for like summer and holidays and basically any situation where you really feel like you need to cool down. You can also spray it over the top of your makeup and it kind of gives it a little bit of like a refresher. Just spray a bit of this on and you just feel a bit more ah, refreshed, you know? I think I might do a face mask later, like just before bed. I think that would be quite nice. But for now, I really want to have a nice relaxed day where I think I might do some arty things, a little bit of sketching because it's been a long time since I've done any sketching. And I also got some new watercolor pens that I really want to try out. Just want to get my art on, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go and do now. 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 I think before I do any sketching though, I really want to have something sweet. I think I might do some baking. Oh lord, oh lord, what's going on with this fringe?